Search for App Mink. Mink, that's just in. Evil Dr. Pig escaped from prison last night. Oh no! We have to hurry and warn the people of App Mink Town. <laughs> What's, What's going, going on? on? <laughs> Watch out! Whoa. Those minions are dangerous! Be careful, everyone! Whoa. Look out! Another one! Watch out, Mink! Huh, take that! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing! <laughs> Mink, are you okay? Looks like we've got company. Yeah, and I've lost my gun. What about this? Good idea. <laughs> Look, Mink, there's a canyon up there. If we time our throw, we can use the dynamite to cut them off. <sighs> <laughs> You've walked right into my trap. Give the signal. <laughs> Hang on tight, guys! They're in front of us, too. <laughs> There's no way out. What do we do? Don't worry, Mink. I have a plan. Not that! Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss part 2 of the police team video. We'll see you next time! Search for App Mink! Hello, everybody. Hello. 
Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yes! First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are! The cabin is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey monster truck! Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Wow! Fantastic! The blades with the main rotor. Cool! Over here! Get in the helicopter! Time the doors! One... Two... Three... Four! Well done! <laughs> ah, the keys! You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! He's flying! Search for App Mink! So, are you coming to the App Mink disco party tonight, Mink? Helicopter and I will be putting on quite a show. Bright lights and cool music. We will all be sure to have a great time. Sure am, Car. I'm looking forward to it very much. Help! Help! Someone! Fennec, what's going on here? And why is the tree on fire? I'm glad you're here, Mink. There is a little kitty stuck on top of that tower. And Big Mink climbed that tree to try and rescue it. Then a branch broke off and the tree fell onto the power lines. One of the lines broke away from the power pole and a spark from it caused a fire! Help! How do we stop this? Don't worry, Fennec Fox, Big Mink, or Little Kitty. I know the right person for the job. Walkie Talkie! The morning in, Chief. Walkie Talkie, can you call up Fire Truck? Sure thing, Mink. Fire Truck, do you copy? We have a problem here and we need you ASAP! Copy that, Walkie Talkie. What seems to be the problem? We have Big Mink stuck high up in a tree and a kitty high up in a tower. They both need your help, and with your long rescue ladder, we'll be able to get them both down safely. And by the way, Fire Truck, a fire has started as well. I'm on it. Now, call in the electrician to turn off the power in the street immediately. We don't want any more fires to start or for someone to get electrocuted. 
Oh, guys, hurry up! Help is on the way, Big Mink! Hang in there! Thank goodness you're here, fire truck! Freddy Fox, take the hose and stop putting out that fire! You will need to attach me to that fire hydrant over there! Oh, all this smoke is making me feel dizzy! I think I might fall! Don't worry, Big Mink! Fire truck is here! And we'll get you and Kitty down soon! Mink, we have no time to spare! You have to climb the ladder and get Big Mink down! truck the ladder doesn't quite reach the ladder is only five meters long i need another five meters to reach big mink and worse still i need another 10 meters to reach kitty what do we do don't worry mink i have a ladder extension i can provide the extra 10 meters you need the fire is nearly out team mink have you reached big mink don't worry big mink we've got you boy am i glad to see you mink thanks for coming to my aid don't mention it Time to bring him down, Mink! Wait! Mink! Don't forget, Kitty! Big Mink! Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine! But I did cause a whole lot of trouble. Don't be so hard on yourself, Big Mink. While it's true that we can all be heroes, we all have our own strengths and limitations. You're right, Mink. Maybe I'm not the best climber after all. Don't worry, Big Mink. You just wanted to help. And well done for that. Yay! Everyone is safe and sound! Thanks, Ghost to Fire Truck for helping us out again. And just in time for the disco. Let's go! I'm hungry. Search for App Mink. Hey everybody, we're back at App Mink Town today, and guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, hello Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car! And the wheels are the first step! What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box? Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. Like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh, wait, he's going to join in. Now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Jump, 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 jump. 
Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. Alright, nice job guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. Here comes the bumper, jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors, flying in from the hills. You guys know what to do. That's right, right on the sides. Lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to App Mink's channel and see you next time. Search for App Mink. Searching for target. Target located. Target locked on. Hello, police car. You must be here to become a monster truck. Are you ready? Great! Let's see what we'll need. Hmm. Looks like we need some new tires first. Let's start by removing the old ones. Don't worry, it'll be fixed soon. Yeah, this is a real monster truck wheel. What's next? Oh, the suspension. Wrap up nice and tight. All right, we're going to need four of those. Time for the chassis. Stretch them out, that's it. Looking good. And now, the engine. Just jump right onto the chassis. That's it. Um, hello? Alright, that looks great. And finally, the cabin. Let's get going. Construction complete. Awesome. You're definitely the coolest police car ever. Amazing. Do you like it, Mr. Police Car? I thought you might. Let's go for a test drive. Whoa. 
check out all those tricks. Wow, amazing. That was awesome. We'll see you next time, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to at Mink to make sure you don't miss the next episode. Search for at Mink. Somebody help! Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! <laughs> <laughs> I've hit the jackpot this time. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig thinks he can steal Miss Mink's bag and get away with it? I don't think so. He's driving like a maniac, helicopter. We need to stop him fast, before he causes too much damage. Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> How can I shake off that pesky police car? <laughs> I know. Oh, no! Car, watch out! Phew! Close call. But now I've lost him. Car, there's another way. Go back to the previous intersection and make a right. Look straight ahead, and I think you'll find Evil Dr. Pig on the bus card in the distance. Yeah? Police car again? Where did he come from? Time to end this. I know what will get the police car off my tail. Time to use the oil slick. <laughs> Nice dodge, car. Thanks, helicopter. Time to speed it up. <laughs> Battering ram systems, go! Hey, what the? Be careful with that thing. Good idea, car. Now's your chance. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, that was so close. I need a way to get out. Wait, what's that? A tunnel! Finally, I'll be able to get rid of car! Oh no, not again! Now how will we catch evil Dr. Pig? Finally! A free pig! <laughs> huh? Time to drop a spike strip! Oh no! A spike strip! You may be able to stop my car, but I can still get away on foot! Not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no, you don't, Evil Dr. Pig. Hmm. Huh? Oh no! Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, back in prison again! Don't forget to... Search for App Mink! Previously in At Mink Town. Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> Go, car! You can do it! Time to end this. Time to use the oil slick. Oh no, not again! A spike strip! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no, you don't, Evil Dr. Pig. Back in prison again! I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we could return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters too have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. 
Oh, that sounds scary. We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue, and the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter. But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special at mid disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can. Search for App Mink. Here's Mr. Train again. What's he got for us today? Train. It's blueprints for a fire truck and all the parts we need to build it. Look at that. Big Mink has the wheels for us. Wheels. And Mink's got some too. Oh, Miss Mink needs some help. Thanks for helping, Mink. That was too heavy, even for Big Mink. What's next? Oh, using helicopter hats. Great idea. Alright, now the cab. Look at how strong Big Mink is. Now the cab is on, and the lights too. Let's add some of the panels. And what's next? Door. That's right. Some more parts for the back. Who's that helping us with the back part? Crane trunk. Yep, great work. 
Now, what's this last piece? Ladder. Yep, the ladder. Looking great, everyone. What lovely photos! Oh, Mink has a present for our fire truck. It's a magic orb that brings him to life. Now one more time, who have we got here? Fire truck. That's right, it's Mr. Fire Truck. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Miss Mink has an idea. Whoa, yeah. what a cool move. Great work, Miss Mink. Oh, no. The blocks got in the way. Now Fox Mink is making his move with the garbage cannon. Big Mink is still in the lead, though. Wow, look at that strength! Oh no. and... oh. Uh oh, what's Evil Dr. Pig doing? He's using a pig cannon to destroy everyone's cars! Spike wheels? That's not fair! Careful, Mink! Gonna win this now! Oh no! What now? driving on two wheels! This is amazing! Yeah, got another one. Come on, Mink! You can't let that cheater win! Shot, Mink. Yeah, uh, uh, they had get me. Uh, uh, me to help you? Yeah, we're gonna help you. All right, it's a push race now. Lucky your friends are here to help. Uh, Come on, guys, you can do it! Yeah! Yay, you did it! Mink is the winner! Serves evil Dr. Pig right for cheating! Search for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town. Looks like Mr. Train is doing well. <laughs> oh no, is that evil Dr. Pig? What's he doing? It looks very suspicious. What's in that bag? There are some very suspicious looking tools. And was that dynamite? 
<laughs> What's he gonna do with that? Oh, this doesn't look good. Evil Dr. Pig, please stop! Oh my gosh! This is terrible! Mink! No, no! Police copter! Please help! The tunnel has been blown up! Somebody blew up the tunnel, please, Chief Mink! Oh, that's terrible! First, we're gonna put out the fire and then move that log! Good work, Mr. Fire Truck! Putting out the fire is a great first step. Same goes for you, Mr. Crane. Good work. Oh, what are we gonna do? Oh, how do we move all this? Oh, that evil Dr. Pig. I know what we should do. What's that, Miss Mink? You've got an idea. Aha! You think we should build a digger. Let's get started. First, we need the cap. Come on, cab. Don't leave us hanging. Next, come the sides and the seat. Jump on, guys! And on to the base. Come on, Grill, what are you waiting for? Bucket. Quickly, we've got a tunnel to fix. Oh no. Evil Dr. Pig's minions are here to stop us. So, next up, we need the tilt cylinder and the blade. Great work! And now, the tracks and the frame. Ready to get rolling. Finally, the steering wheel gets to join. And now we're ready to help fix the tunnel. Oh, maybe a bit more power first. Oh, you're forgetting something. Huh? Thanks, Big Mink. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. All right, Mink. Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh. Ah, 
Evil Dr. Pig's minions are trying to stop us again. Great work, Mink. No time to waste. Hurry, Mink. We gotta get this cleaned up. Don't worry. I'm on it. The train is coming. Hurry, Mink. <laughs> it's getting closer. I can do it. All right, this is you it. You can do it, Mink. <laughs> We did it, guys! Ah, I failed again! The train is saved! Another crisis avoided thanks to Mink and his friends! <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to at Mink so you can see what Mink and his friends are up to next time! See you then! Move back! Please stay behind the yellow line. Mr. Train is almost here. Hello, Spinner. Hey! Welcome aboard, Boxy Box. Thank you, Mink. Crayon did it. Good job, Crayon. Let's go, Mr. Train. Always look left and right at a traffic stop. Mr. Train is going right. Yay! Oh, wow. Mr. Train is going through a tunnel. Cool! Mr. Train is arriving at stop number one. This is my stop. Bye, everyone. See, See you! Hurry up, Boxy. You're late. Bye-bye, Cubes. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Train. Bye, Mr. Train. Bye, Mr. Train. Bye, Bye, Mr. Train. Bye, Bye, Mink. Bye, Bye, Mink. Bye, Mink. Mr. Train is going up a ramp. There is a bridge. Hold on, everyone. Whee! The cars are waiting for Mr. Train to pass. Now the cars can go. Another train is passing by. All clear. Here we go. What's this? Both trains are stopping here. Let's go! Let's, let's go. go! Let's go! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 This is my stop! Yippee! Goodbye, Spinner! Goodbye, everyone! Bye! Bye. Mr. Train, please stop! Mr. Train! Mink! Crayon, are you okay? What's the problem? M my stop was back there! We missed my stop! Don't worry, Crayon! We're going back! Mr. Train is moving backwards. He's going very slowly to be careful. Look, Crayon's friends! Hello, Hello Crayon! Phew, that was close! Hello, everybody! Well, shall we go, Mr. Train? Ooh, wait, Mr. Train! Wait, Mink! I just wanted to say thank you! You're welcome, Crayon!
see you soon. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone. Today we get to meet the new monster truck and take him in for an upgrade and some cool new body kit additions. Here he comes now. All right, are you ready to go in? Great, let's go. Down the elevator to the mechanic room. Ready for your upgrade? First, let's take you through the car wash. Oh, you don't like the bathing idea, huh? Don't worry, it'll be okay. Nice and clean, that's it. Looking good. Now, to the designing room. Great! Now that we're in the designing room, let's try some colors. Let's see. Purple? Not bad. White? No, too bright. What about green? Oh, you don't like green? Hmm. How about blue? Yeah, this is perfect. All right, let's put on some cool decals and stickers for you. Wow, there's so many to choose from. Let's go with this one. Fire. That looks awesome. Now a sticker on the back and some fire on the other side and now some stickers under the lights at the front. This is looking so cool. What about the top? Perfect. Now let's change the color of the rims. Mm. Yellow. Those go perfectly with your new body color. Oh, what's in here? Wow! Look at all these props and accessories we can add. Punk hair? Afro hair? Horns? Even tusks? <laughs> these are hilarious! For now, let's just put a scoop on the hood and a wing at the back. And also add some exhaust pipes. Wow, you look awesome. This is amazing. You are the best monster truck I've ever seen. Let's show off these sweet new changes to our friends. Wow, amazing. So cool. Don't forget to subscribe to Acme so you don't miss any cool new upgrades like this guy just got. See you next time. Search for App Mink. Is everyone ready for a song? Okay, let's go. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all the way to town. Doors on the bus, they open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus, they open and close.
and clothes all the way to town. All the way to town! The money on the bus goes ching, 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 ching. The money on the bus goes ching, 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 all the way to town. The driver of the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, move on back, and don't forget to put your seatbelts on. All the way through town! The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on, the seatbelts on, the seatbelts on. The monkeys on the bus put the seatbelts on, and they enjoy the ride. The bus goes vroom, 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 vroom. The motor on the bus goes vroom, 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 all the way to town. All the way to town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. You better get out the way. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish to wash away the rain. All the way through town. The antennas on the bus go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Antennas on the bus go back and forth and back and back and forth. The signals on the bus go. Go blink, 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 and blink, 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 blink. All the way through town. The animals on the bus wave out the window, wave out the window, wave out the window. The animals on the bus wave out the window, all the way to town. 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 for App Mink. Welcome back to App Mink Town, everyone. There's a vehicle meet today for the awesome vehicle competition. And some of the vehicles from App Mink are here to show off what they can do. Monster Truck is raring to go. Digger is pushing his way into position. What an impressive jump. The school bus is flying on over. The crane truck's here too, and ready to roll. Are we missing someone? 
Ah, it's the garbage truck. Cleaning up before he gets in position. The monster truck jumps out first to show us what he can do. Howdy kids, I'm the monster truck. I'm the coolest ride in town. I love getting paint jobs and doing stunts. Check out my huge tires. I also have a strong chassis and extra suspension for jumps and tricks. And my engine is extra powerful. I like showing off tricks to my friends, but it often gets me dirty, and I hate taking them back. But I think being dirty just ain't cool. Grr, out of my way. Hey, wait. Kids, if you want to be cool, you've got to be strong. Look at my strong arm. I can dig holes and move heavy things. And look at my strong blade. I can move even heavier things with this. Or lift them like they're nothing and turn and place them anywhere. Tires aren't cool. Treads are much tougher. They can take you anywhere. And that's why I'm the strong. Hey, wait! Out of the way, make way for someone who's really strong. The strongest are always in a team. We're the crane truck. We're two friends who always work together. The crane can reach up to the sky with his hook and use it to lift heavy things and place them in the right spot. But not only can he lift things, he can also smash him. Bam! We've got six big wheels so we can move heavy objects fast and easily. But if the crane needs more support, I have extra legs to lift heavier and higher. Teamwork is definitely the best. I'll teach you, you giraffe. <laughs> You'll never catch us with those treads. <laughs> Kids, we all know the most fun thing isn't being strong or being with just one friend. It's being with lots of friends. My body is made especially for moving lots of people at once. And I have lots of comfortable seats and top-notch suspension, making me great for carrying all your friends. We'll drive through extreme conditions together and have crazy adventures. And when it's all said and done, I'll make sure you go home soon. I bring you and your friends together Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the kids from school again! Hi kids, I'm not the coolest or the strongest, and I can't take you and your friends on adventures. Some of you might have seen me before though. That's because I get up really early and drive through town. I use my mechanical arm to pick up garbage bins and clean unneeded objects and store them in my body. This means you can get rid of rubbish so your home doesn't get cluttered and is tidy and clean and has room for toys. <sighs> 
But I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow I'll be up early again. Bye kids. Good night. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments who your favorite vehicle is. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Hey there, App Mink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of App Mink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot, and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold. And depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt, or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, 
it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct. Well done. The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started, and it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another five seconds to think about it. If you said one year or 365 days, then you're correct. It takes one year or 365 days for the Earth to make a full orbit of the sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing, let's look at the Earth moving around the sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down, but rather it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Search for App Mink. 
Good morning, everybody. It's still really early in at Mink Town, so we don't want to wake anyone up. Look at all the sleeping parts. Good morning, Mink. You're going to play us a song? Oh, wow! It sounds so cool! And it's woken up Mr. Crane Truck's parts! Let's watch him collect them all and put himself together! The wheels are getting ready and waiting for the body. Here he comes! The cab is getting the seat and some of the other pots on his way over. It's all coming together now. Looking great. Now, some of Mink's magical music is going to bring them together forever. Look at Mr. Crane carry those logs. Great work! Search for App Mink. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed One fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Two little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. 
Mama called the doctor and the doctor said I said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Search for App Mink. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another educational adventure with Mr. Train and everyone from App Mink Town. Hi, Mr. Train. Today, we're going to learn about shapes. How many shapes do you know? Let's find out. The first shape is a circle. Did you know that the sun is a circle? Look at how happy he is about it. The police car and the school bus are showing us how the circle goes round and round. Next is the triangle. Did you know pyramids are made from triangles? These pyramids come all the way from Egypt. Mr. Train is showing us the triangle shape this time. Our third shape is the square. A square has four sides. Look at those exciting square presents. I wonder what's inside. The monster truck is bringing us four Lego blocks to make the four sides of the square. Our next shape is the pentagon. Did you know that the black spots on soccer balls are pentagons? But not the white spots. We'll find out about those next. The crane trucks are bringing us logs to use as the five sides of the pentagon. Stop! Oh, wait, it's just our next shape, the hexagon! Now, if we line up the holes at the end of these six beams, we can make a hexagon. Let's lock them in place with the screws. Our sixth shape is a super shape. It's the star! And we have our superstar star here with us too! What's this? What is Evil Dr. Pig doing? Oh, he's pretending to be Pac-Man and eating Pac-Dots in the corners of the star. Now, we've got a diamond shape. Most kites are diamond shaped, with the tail flowing down from the bottom point. To make a diamond, we're going to get some help from our good friend, Mr. Dump Truck. 
Next is one of the loveliest shapes, the heart shape. Look at all the heart that little bear has got to give. Remember to give the people you love hearts like this bear to show them you care. Mr. Helicopter is going to draw a big heart in the sky for us. Thanks so much, Mr. Helicopter. It looks great. Our ninth shape is the oval. And what are the ovals we have in the basket? That's right, they're eggs! The dump truck is going to dump the eggs in the shape of an oval. It's an oval of ovals! Great work, Mr. Dump Truck! Our last shape is the rectangle. It looks like a stretched out square. Let's build a rectangle out of blocks. And now that we know how to make one, we can paint a rectangle on the wall. If you think you can draw a rectangle as well, draw one in the air with your finger. That's all of the shapes for today. Let's go through them one more time. Circle, triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, star, diamond, heart, oval, and rectangle. Thanks so much for your help, Mr. Train, and everyone else from AppMink. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Okay, kids, it's time for a song. Do you know about Old MacDonald and his farm? You do? Then sing along. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some pigs E-I-E-I-O With an oink oink here and an oink oink there Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Well, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cows E-I-E-I-O with a moo moo here and a moo moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some dogs E-I-E-I-O With a woof woof here and a woof woof there here a wolf, there a wolf, everywhere a wolf, wolf. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Yeah, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some cats, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some horses E-I-E-I-O With a nay nay here and a nay nay there Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O One, 
two, three, four, five. Good job. Try again. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Hi everyone, and welcome back to At Mink Jr. Are you ready to look at all the different colored trains? All right, let's go. First is red. Red. Red train. Red is the color of strawberries. Next, we have blue. Blue. Blue train. Blue is the color of water. Next, we have yellow. Yellow. Yellow train. Yellow is the color of mangoes. Next, we have green. Green. Green train. Green is the color of watermelons. Lastly, we have pink. Pink. Pink train. Pink is the color of lips. Are you ready to go through them all again? Okay, let's go. Red. Red train. Blue. Blue train. Yellow. Yellow train. Green. Green train. Pink. Pink train. That's all the trains here at At Mink Jr. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for At Mink TV. Hi everyone. Today's another beautiful day at At Mink Town. And guess what? We've got another lesson for you from Mr. Train. Are you excited? I know I am. Let's get started. Today, we're learning about fruit. Do you know what fruit is in this box? It's bananas. Bananas grow on palm trees and love to be eaten by monkeys. You just peel the yellow skin off and chow down. Now, what fruit is this? It's an apple. There are over 7,000 different types of apples. If you tried one per day, it'd take you 20 years to taste them all. Apples are delicious, but make sure you don't eat the middle. That bit's not very tasty. To get apples, we plant an apple seed from the core in the ground and it grows into an apple tree. Now what's our next fruit? It's a pear. Pears come in different colors, including green, orange, yellow, and even red. And they grow on trees much like apples. The wood from pear trees can be used to make lots of nice things, like ornaments, tables, and musical instruments like the cello. Now our next fruit often comes in pears. It's cherries. Cherries grow on beautiful trees called cherry blossoms. They produce about 800 cherries. Cherries are great when you have them with dessert, like cupcakes or pies, and look great on top. Wow! 
Look at the size of that cherry pie. I hope that's not just for you, Fennec Fox. Now this fruit will be hard to guess. Can you get it? It's a coconut. Coconuts grow on palm trees in tropical places like deserted islands. The trees can reach 20 meters tall, which is as high as an eighth floor building. Hi, Big Mink. Hi. Ah, oh, coconut. Now I bet you can all guess this fruit. It's the pineapple. Pineapples grow out of the ground and are actually a type of berry. If you slice off the top, you can use it to grow a new one. Wow, Mink, that pineapple is gigantic! Maybe you should invite your friends to help eat it. Wow, look at it! The largest pineapple is 32 centimeters long and weighed over 8 kilograms. Does everybody know this next fruit? It's lemons! Lemons grow on trees much like apples and pears. The trees are called evergreens and produce fruit all year. Oh, you like lemons, Miss Mink? No, too sour. Lemons are tastiest when you make lemonade by squeezing out their juices. You can also use lemons as a battery. Isn't that amazing? Okay, on to the next fruit. It's oranges. Oranges are another fruit that grows on trees like lemons. Oranges are like the children of Pinellos and the older <laughs> brothers of mandarins. <laughs> to eat an orange, first peel off the skin, which you can then use to make some nice tea or for making cakes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Oranges usually break into ten pieces after you take the skin off. Our next fruit is an old favorite. It's strawberries. Strawberries are covered in lots of tiny little seeds. The only fruit like this. There can be as many as 200. They grow on long stalks that come out of the ground that only produce fruit for five years. Strawberries are another fruit that goes great with dessert. The pineberry is a type of strawberry that's very pale and tastes like a pineapple. Do you know what our next fruit is? It's blackberries. They hang off the end of long branches. But watch out for the thorns. Blackberry leaves are great in tea. And if you feed blackberries to bees, they make delicious, dark, fruity honey. You can even use them to make pies, creams, ice creams and jams, and they're all delicious. What do we have this time? It's the blueberry. Blueberries are great because you can eat lots of them before you get full. You can also use blueberries to make paint. So you and your friends can paint beautiful pictures. And just like other berries, you can make lots of delicious things like jams, pies, and ice creams. Thanks for another awesome lesson, Mr. Train. Let's go through them again. Banana, apple, pear, cherry, coconut, pineapple, lemon, orange, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. Thanks everyone for joining us on this learning adventure. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.